Hey everyone, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be back planning or memory keeping the week of... Oh, it might help if I actually got my planner out. It was last week. It was the week of March... Nope, April 12th through the 18th. And I am using this beautiful a kit from SPC called Evermore. And I am obsessed. I had this vision in my head that I wanted to do rose gold, like the pinky rose gold, and gold from SPC to match perfectly. And I did a little bit of fun things. I did the solid bows um, from SPC, and I, then I did the outline of her bows in gold. So it gave like this pretty cute little outline. I used like this flourish bottom washi from sadie stickers along with like some full box overlays from sadie stickers and i think i can't remember if it's planner choco or from i think it was planner choco i could be wrong i'm not sure um and then for the bougie boxes and the glitter headers i did use rose gold bougie boxes and then i laid on top the light gold excuse me bougie box tapes from rose colored days so it gave that mixed metal effect and then the same thing with the glitter headers i took the light gold and the rose gold from spc and i overlaid them so they matched on top and then some icons i intertwined both rose gold and gold and then this wild and free um quote i did use from i think it was planner choco i mean I showed it in the beginning, but I didn't pay attention, obviously. But I am obsessed. I think this might be my top, top favorite spread so far. And maybe of all time? Maybe. Because I just, I just adore how this turned out. I love the extra color that she used. I love, like, these dusty tones of colors. And my vision came true the way that I had thought it was with the mixed metals and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So while I'm putting down the base and like the foil and everything, I did ask for some questions and I did get a few. Um, the first couple questions are from Amy of Amy Brew Plans. The first question she had asked was favorite planner YouTube channels or accounts or however she worded it. And I have a few. Obviously hers is one of them. I do watch hers every week. Um, Abby Marie Plans, who is Abby, Abby Lives Well on Instagram. Of course, SPC, Kirsten. Um, I do love Plans with Emily and also Emma.k.plans. Um, those are some of my favorite ones, but I do watch a whole bunch of other videos. So if I didn't name you, I'm sorry. But if I didn't, if I don't watch you, let me know and I'll, I'll take a look at your videos. And then the next question, she said, what are your hobbies besides planning? I do cross stitch and I do do diamond paintings. And then also I want to learn how to embroider because I think that like pictures and stuff are beautiful and I'd like to like spice up some sweatshirts and stuff with some flower patterns on them. I think that'd be really cute. And then her next question was singer or band you would like to see in concert. I would like to see Luke Bryan perform because I haven't seen him live ever. And then band wise I would really just like to see like some old bands that I used to see like back from 2010, like Patent Pending, Action Item. Um, they were small bands that I became friends with, uh, but they, I mean, broke up Stereo Skyline. I'd like to see All Time Low again. Um, actually, I'd love to see All Time Low again. So all of like the emo phase kind of stuff I would love to see. Uh, the next question she had asked was, do you like theme parks and water parks? Theme parks, yes. I love a good roller coaster. Um, I live close to Knobles in Pennsylvania. If anyone's from PA that watches my videos and is like familiar with that, uh, Knobles is a fun time. It's free admission. You have to pay for like a wristband to ride the rides and stuff, but you can actually literally like go and walk around and not actually have to pay to enter the park. And it there's a lot of shade and stuff too, so it's real nice. And oh, excuse me, but I love Six Flags. I love. Dorney Park. I love the park. I love like Disney World. Um, water parks, not so much. I don't like being like wet 
and walking around the park the whole entire time. Like I've done it at Dorney Park before where I would go to like the water park and then go to the regular park like in between and I just didn't, I wasn't a fan. I was like miserable the whole day. The next question is from Styled by Stickers and I should have gotten her name and I've talked to her before. Hang on a second. Molly. <laughs> Molly from Styled by Stickers. Uh, she asked, what would you do for fun if you weren't a planner girl? I I mean, that's kind of like the same question as what are your hobbies besides planning? I would be cross-stitching more and probably, oh, excuse me, I keep yawning, honestly, probably reading more. Um, I don't know, I like like arts and crafts. I like I like things. So any kind of things that I can find, like Mar like Michael's to paint and stuff, like I'm all for like learning new little hobbies and stuff. And let's see, I do have, oh, and then Kenna had asked, uh, what is an art set that you'd love to see? I have three that I would like to see. One would be like a museum type, like slash art gallery. Like I would love like maybe like the Mona Lisa or like Da Vinci's like artwork and stuff like that, like all over like the pictures and full boxes and stuff. And then a Broadway theme. And then for Christmas, I'd love to see Rudolph with the misfit toys because I love the elephant, the pink polka dotted elephant. Like, he's my favorite. And I would just love to see that theme as a kit. And I don't think it's been done. Not that I've seen anyway. So, people who, any artists or shops that watch my videos, please, Rudolph, maybe, misfit toys. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but moving into the plans... Starting off with Monday the 12th, I started off my day with some coffee. So I used a patterned fancy label and a little girl from Papershire drinking a coffee to mark that. Then I recorded my voiceover for my Easter kit. So I used a vanilla from Papershire as well. That's, I think it's like a podcast uh, vanilla, but... I think they're perfect for marking voiceovers. I think this is my first time using one too, so I was super excited. And then I uploaded my Easter plant with me this day. And if you haven't checked that out, I definitely would say go do it because it is breathtaking. Like, it's beautiful. And I used a Caress Press laptop sticker to mark that, even though I upload on my phone. Moving on to the second half of the week. Not the week. The day. I went to, I'm sorry, I can't stop yawning, excuse me. I used a little thing to mark that I stopped at Dollar General after work. Then I decided that I was going to film this base. So I used a fancy label to mark that I marked that I, yeah, that I marked that I marked, marked that I filmed the base for this Evermore kit. And then I used a squared box, but I chopped it down so it fit into the space and like a fangirl munchkin to mark that this was my top spread ever like I am obsessed like I said with how this turned out <laughs> moving on to Tuesday I was finally able to schedule my COVID vaccine my shot they originally Pennsylvania was supposed to be the 19th was going to be like the opening for all PA residents to schedule but they did like speed it up for the 13th so I was able to schedule it which I do get it in real time the 24th this coming Saturday so I'm super excited about that and then I cleaned all of the litter boxes in the house we do have three four we have one in the bedroom for Piper we have one upstairs in the hallway for Arnold and then Arnold also uses the one in the basement and then Jake uses the one in the bathroom and the basement so I just did like a deep clean of all of them and then after that, oh, I used the stethoscope foil um, circle icon from SPC to mark my COVID vaccine. I used a munchkin scooping litter to mark cleaning the boxes. And then on a fancy label, I had a YouTube binge. So I just used the laptop from the kit to mark that. Then moving on to the bottom half, I did use a patterned piece of washi to mark that I took my injection for my migraines. And I used a munchkin with a syringe to mark that. I filmed and edited my 
April 2021 SPC Mystery plan with me with a camera icon from SPC. And then this night, Big Sky was on. It was a two-hour premiere, so I marked that. Good show if you haven't watched it. Super good. Um, I enjoy it. Moving on to Wednesday, I used another piece of patterned washi to mark that it was payday. And I used the dollar bill icon from the kit. Then on a little thing, I marked that I had a migraine. So I used a Primrose Corner uh, Migraine Girl to mark that. And then I got some Once More With Love Happy Mail, which you'll see in a haul. I'm just waiting on a few more orders before I can film that. And I used a bow, bow icon from SPC. Then I fell asleep and took a nap until about 7.30. So I used a little Snorlax emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. Then moving on to the bottom half of Wednesday, I went to Dollar General again. Which I think I went like one or two more times the rest of the week. Because it's right down the road. And I got this new mason jar so story time so i was walking in the store with my mom and like in the summary stuff there were mason jars and they were all like ombre colors like pink to blue green to yellow i think orange to something maybe pink i'm not sure but they were super cute and they were three dollars and i'm like oh this would be a great coffee cup like it was short and stubby and i thought it would be perfect well come to find out when i looked at it it had a a wick in it so you would put like the liquid for like for a fire for like the torches um but it was empty so I bought it anyway and I had a straw so I'm using it as a coffee cup so it was like a like a little lantern thingy but eh. <laughs> so I used the coffee foiled icon to mark that then we had pizza supreme lasagna this night and I used a spaghetti icon from paper shire and I just cut it so it fit that section and then I filmed this day probably I don't even know what I have two bases. Well, I'm, I just filmed a base last night in real time. Um, but I'm trying to get ahead of myself. So you'll see my nails, which are these now. But eventually they will change, like when I do the day-by-days of my planners. But what are you going to do? I wanted to get ahead. Uh, moving on to Thursday, I made myself some coffee again in my new cup. So I used another coffee cup icon from SPC. On another little thing, I marked that I went to the gas station and I used the credit card icons for that. Then again, I went to the dollar store. Don't ask me for what, I just pick up odds and ends. It's closer than the grocery store. So I used the little grocery icon to mark that. Then I had another migraine this day. So I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji in a squared off box for that. Uh, for the second half of Thursday on a patterned fancy label, I did mark that Zoe had training again. This was her first day back after her two-week hiatus from being sick with camel cough. So I used from Rabbit Hole Handcraft, a little girl throwing a ball for the dog. Um, after training, I stopped at Chipotle, so I just used this little vanilla with a burrito to mark that on a little thing. And then in a patterned like third box, I don't think it's the house box one, um... I watched uh, Station 19, Grey's Anatomy, Law and Order, SVU, and Law and Order, Organized Crime. I have yet to catch up. I have to catch up on Organized Crime before tomorrow. But I just marked those in a box so that I wasn't going to fit four things in one there. Oops, excuse me. Okay. Ooh. Moving on to Friday, I had a Happy Mail delivery from formerly Olive & Co, but it's now Olive Studio. And that will be in my next haul because I didn't want to use any stickers until I made a haul video or put them in my sticker storage, which I will plan, I will film the video once my sticker storage is complete. It's almost complete, not quite. Um, and then I recorded my voiceover and this little um, microphone is from the Fruity Sticker Company. And I used the blue to mark that, I think it was the voiceover for the last week's video, probably. It must be, yep, because then, funny. The, I used another pattern fancy label to mark that I uploaded my plan with me, which was last week, because I wrote last week on there. Um, I did order from Glam Planner this day. I ordered her Ursula kit, because 
I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie. And when I was a little girl, I would watch it on VHS. Then once it was done, I would cry and scream until my parents rewound it for me to rewatch it again and again and again. And it still stuck with me. And I love Ursula. I'm also debating on getting an Ursula tattoo, which might be in the works. I'm not sure yet. But I bought her kit and then... When the kit comes in, when I get the foil, because I got the foil added on too, I might see what matches perfectly to do a mixed metal because it was purple and blue. And I want to make sure I get the right, like, like the perfect color match for it. Um, I did find my Sweet 16 book. So when I was, when I turned 16 at my party, I had like a little notebook that I had everybody at my party um, sign. So a lot of people that my dad used to work with. Uh, both grandmothers were there, uh, my Aunt Mary, my Aunt Millie, so they all had passed away, so I had a, like, a nice little cry when I was reading through them all. And then RuPaul's Drag Race was on that night. Uh, moving on to Saturday, I did work from 8 to 11, and I used the work label from the kit, and then on a patterned fancy label, I did mark that I made pesto chicken this day, so I used a crockpot icon from Wild Summer Designs, and I put that on about 8.30, and then I turned it on warm about 3.30 in the afternoon. I went to Weiss after I was done with work. I also took a nap this day, ooh, excuse me, um, in a half box, the bar next door to me. I'll have to bring it up probably in a different video, but... Um, my grandparents used to own the bar and things happened after they passed away. They gave it to my aunt and uncle who were brother and sister. And then things happened where this like rotten woman, she bought into the the business and she owned like 51%. And then her like stuck up snotty, uh, daughter and her fiance like are kind of running it and it's all going downhill. They've been open since they have been closed since September. And I have been like happy because it's been quiet but then they opened up for the first time uh, Saturday night and had a band and there was drunk people outside screaming. So I didn't really miss that. But I used the like F this munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. Um, I made chicken and rice for Zoe because she was having a bellyache. And I binged watched um, Rock of Love from like 2007 with Brett Michaels. <laughs> I started season two, funny enough, uh, yesterday. Moving on to... Oh, my nap sticker, sorry, is from Fox and Cactus. Uh, moving on to Sunday the 18th, I was up early, so I used a munchkin, like pulling another munchkin out of bed on a pattern piece of washi to mark that. Uh, it was my mom's last day at Kmart because, sadly, the last two Kmarts in Pennsylvania closed this day. So I marked it with a bull icon from Caress Press. Uh, after she was done with work, I met her at Lowe's. That's like right down the road from Kmart. So we can get some succulents to uh, make like a little like arrangement in a pot. And I used a flower like bouquet from Bubba Bear Studios to mark that. Um, after that, I left uh, Lowe's and I went to Starbucks and there is a freaking spider in my car and I like freaked out. So I used this little tarantula um, with the munchkin on top from Once More With Love to mark that and the next parts are out of order because I went to Starbucks first obviously but I planted succulents with my mom and I used a paper and milk maru to mark that for Starbucks on a fancy label I marked with a coffee cup from Caress Press from the foil and then Zoe got her first puppuccino this day and she was super excited and super cute she wasn't in the car with me but I did bring it home for her so I used a paw print icon from SPC and then this night I did watch The Rookie. It was on this night. Oh, I'm sorry for being out of focus. And then I didn't show it in the beginning, obviously. But I did write that, like, in the two boxes on the sidebar, I wrote so many succulents because we bought a lot to fill, like, our bowls that we got. And then it was a busy work week in the second box because um, one of the girls was out, so I was covering her work. And, yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> like I said, I'm obsessed with how this turned out. Like, I couldn't be happier. Mixing light gold, and th there's some hot gold, not much, 
um, and the rose gold, the pinky rose gold from SPC. Like, it was a dream for this kit. Like, I just think it turned out so well and I can't stop staring at it. But I am just putting it back here in the spread. And if you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, comment down below, ask me some questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And there's my little wiggle. And oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I didn't write it in the sidebar now, but I wrote it at the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.